showing you how to make these really cool houses from, I'll show you the inside, toilet paper and paper towel tubes. I know that you guys have been to stores and not a lot of them have toilet paper or paper towels. They are precious cargo. But if you do have the leftover tubes from stuff that you use, instead of putting them in trash or recycling, keep them and you can use them this week to make these with me and then we are reusing things to help the earth. So to make your house, you are going to start with either a recycled toilet paper roll or you can start with a paper towel roll and cut it down. Or if you want to keep the full size, you can have like a super tall skyscraper house. Um, I'm going to start by coloring this. You have a couple options. I painted this house and I used what's called acrylic paint. It's different from watercolor paint. It's already liquidy. Um, you don't need to mix any water into it. It covers the paper towel roll pretty well, but if you don't have that paint at home, it's okay. I made this house by coloring the toilet paper tube, the paper towel tube with marker, and I think it still turned out really well. So I'm going to color this roll just to show you guys step by step how to do it. I'm going to color it with marker. I'm going to make this house green and I'm just going to start coloring in my toilet paper tube and I will check back with you guys because this is going to take me a minute. All right, I am finally finished coloring my toilet paper tube green. If you can still see a little bit of the cardboard peeking through, that is okay. It does not have to be totally covered as long as you can tell what color it's supposed to be. If you want to draw some lines after you're done coloring, I did a bunch of little rectangle lines to make it look like this house was made out of bricks. I'm not going to do that for this one just to save some time and keep going with the tutorial, but it's up to you if you want to decorate the outside walls of your house. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is windows and doors and grass to go around the base of your building. So for the grass, you're basically just making a bunch of zigzag lines. If you make tiny zigzag lines like this, please keep in mind that you will then have to cut out a bunch of tiny zigzag lines. It takes a while, it looks super cool, but it is kind of hard to cut them out. You can also make zigzag lines like this. They are a little bit easier to cut out with a pair of scissors later. I'm gonna flip this over just to make it long enough. I use both sides of the paper. We're saving paper here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of wrap the tube just so that I know how long to make my grass. So once the paper is all the way wrapped around, I can see how much paper I'm gonna have to use. I'm gonna use my green marker and I'm gonna make a dot down here so that I know when I make my grass, it has to be from here to here. Otherwise, it's not gonna wrap around the tube all the way. So now I'm just gonna go back in with my green marker and I'm going to make a bunch of zigzag lines with my green marker to be the grass for my building. And then I'm going to color it in. And I will check back with you guys after I color it in and then cut it out with the scissors. If you have a hard time cutting it, you can ask a grown up or an older sibling for help to cut out your grass. As you can see, my grass is all cut out and it's ready to be glued on. The next thing I'm going to make is a door. There are a couple options for making doors. You can make it rounded like this, basically just a rainbow shape and decorate it however you want. Or you can do a rectangular door and decorate however you want. I'm going to uh, make this shape again, uh, just because I like how it looks. So you want to make your door however big you think your door should be. So I'm laying this down next to my paper just so I can say, mm, I want my door to be about that big. So on my paper, I'm going to draw my shape for the door. And then I'm going to put a window in my door just because I feel like it. I'm going to make a diagonal shaped window. I'm going to make window panes by drawing a line across and a line down. And then I'm going to draw a doorknob because I think my door needs a doorknob. And I'm going to make it on this side, I think. And I'm going to color those. In. I'm gonna make my doorknob yellow. I'm also going to make the inside of my windows yellow so it looks like there's a light on inside. I'm gonna color the door and be right back to show you how to make the windows. My door is done. Next thing I am going to do, sorry if you hear extra noises, uh, my cat is very playful this afternoon. Next thing I'm going to do is windows. You have 
tons of options for your windows. So you can make your windows circular and round. You can make your windows rectangles like this and there are different ways to draw the curtains. And you can make your windows like this. I made, this is called a shutter. It's kind of a cover for the windows. You can make it basically this shape here, like half of the window, you draw the opposite of it on the other side. And I drew this little yellow stripe is just a pretend hinge to kind of help the, uh, the shutter turn because normally you would reach out and close it, kind of like a door to cover up the windows, like an extra door. I'm going to make my windows for this house uh, big long rectangles and I'm going to do that by drawing some big skinny rectangles here. I'm gonna make these windows really tall. I'm gonna put two on my house. You can decide how many you want. And you can also change up shapes too. If you want one circle window, one rectangle, a square shape, that rounded shape, however you wanna do it. I'm going to add just a line across here. It's gonna be one of those windows that opens up. I'm not gonna draw another line going down, but I am going to add some curtains. I'm gonna draw these curtains by drawing two squiggly lines going down like they have curtains on the side of their windows and then I'm going to color those curtains in you can use whatever you want to color I'm choosing to use mostly colored pencils with some markers to outline but you can color with all marker you can color with crayon I'm going to use colored pencils. And also feel free to pause this video anywhere you want. If I'm showing off how I did something on another house and you like how it looks and you want to copy it, pause the video at that spot for a second so that you can copy it. And just like I did before, I'm going to color in inside of the windows to make it look like somebody's home lights are on if you want to make it look like no one's there like the lights are off or like it's nighttime and they're asleep you could color inside of the windows a dark gray color all right my windows are done I'm going to cut these out and then show you how to put them on your house all right my windows and my door are all cut out here i'm going to show you how to attach them to the house i used a glue stick for this if you have a glue stick at home you can use it if not you can use regular glue you can use tape if you have tape uh, maybe you want to just use a stapler if mom or dad has a stapler at home that you can borrow all right so i'm going to start by gluing the grass on first what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little bit of glue around the bottom, the very bottom of my house. And I'm gonna go all the way around. Then I'm going to take my grass and I'm going to put the flat edge of the grass on the bottom of the tube where I have that glue and I'm going to start to press it down. I'm just gonna press, 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 and it is a perfect fit. Well, almost perfect. So that's gonna be the front of my house because I don't really like how that line is. So this is gonna be the front. My grass is all glued on. The next thing I'm going to put on, actually, I can use this and cover it up with my door and then you don't see it at all. I'm gonna make this the front of my house thinking while I'm working. Now I'm going to glue the door on. So I'm gonna put some glue on the back of the door. And I'm going to stick it on my house right at the bottom so that it covers up the grass a little bit. Cause I think we'd maybe have some sidewalk there and we wouldn't see the grass right in front of the door. All right, so my door is glued on. Now I'm going to glue my windows on. I'm going to put the windows above the door. I think I'm going to do one here and I'm going to do one here. You can decide however, wherever you want to put your windows. So I'm going to put some glue on this window. And I'm going to stick it on one side. And I'll put some glue on the other window. 
and I'm going to stick it on the other side. Awesome. There we go. Now they look nice and even. So I have my door, I have my windows, I have some grass for a yard on our house. The last thing we are going to add is a roof. So I'm going to show you how to do this roof. This one's gonna be the easier one. And this roof, this one is slightly more difficult to make, but it looks super cool. So I will show you how to do both. To make this roof, the rectangle roof, I'm going to start with piece of paper. I'm just using the scraps from the stuff that I made before to save paper. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the tube down so I can see how big I need to make the roof because I want it to be a little bit bigger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to make basically just a big rectangle around the roof. So let me see if I can turn it. I think it's a little easier to see that way. So I'm going to draw a line down until it goes a little bit past where you have the tube on your paper and then I'm going to draw a line across so that you have a rectangle that fits. You're gonna have a little bit on either end to make your roof. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate the roof uh, with some tiles or some shingles. I think I'm going to make my roof for this one. Let's just do red so that it matches the door. So I'm going to draw some lines straight lines like this and then I'm going to draw some sideways lines to make the tiles or the shingles of the roof but I'm going to stagger it okay so one line is not going to be in the same place as the line next to it they're going to be kind of all spread out a little bit there we go. I'm going to color that in and cut it out and then I'll show you how to attach it to your house. Okay, I have my roof that I colored and cut out. I have my house and I'm going to use some tape to attach it. If you don't have tape at home, you can get creative and figure out a way to attach it. I will be very impressed with you. Maybe you can tell me in the comments or message me another way that you figured out how to attach the roof. I would love to hear some feedback. So I'm going to take my roof and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half so that the color side is on the outside. Okay, so you're going to fold it in half so that the white part's inside and the colors are outside. That's going to give us that nice little roof shape that we want to sit on top of the house. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do once that's folded, I'm going to take two pieces of tape and I'm going to stick it so that they're kind of popping out of the top of the house. So I'm going to take one piece of tape, not that long, not too big, and I'm going to stick it on the side of the house, sideways, so that it sticks up a little bit from the house. Okay, see how it's sticking up from the side? The sticky part is going to be on the outside, that's what you want. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So on the side of the house, I'm going to put some tape so that it's sticking up, sticky side is out. The last part of this is setting the house on top of the tape so that it sticks. And actually what I might do, these pieces are a little long, so I'm going to stick them together. So now I have this nifty little tape loop on top of my house and I'm going to put the roof on top of that loop. So I'm gonna put one side here and push very gently and I'm gonna put the other side here and push very gently. And now the roof is on the top of my house. Awesome. Next, I'm going to show you how to do this kind of roof. So to make your cone shaped roof, you are going to want to trace a circle that is much bigger than your house. So I'm going to find something round or I found something round in my kitchen. I found this lid to a container because it is much bigger than my tube and it's going to help me to make a nice cone shape. So you're going to trace that. I'm going to use a pencil to trace around the outside. The reason that I'm tracing a circle and not drawing a circle is because if you have a perfect circle, it's going to make the ends match up when we fold it to make the cone shape. Okay, so I'm going to open that up and if you want your roof to look like this, you are basically just going to draw a bunch of smaller circles on the inside 
so I drew a bunch of smaller circles on the inside and then I drew some sideways lines. I want this to look a little bit different. I want it to be a straw roof. So I'm going to find a dot to be the middle and I'm gonna start to make lines like this that go around the circle, around the middle. And I'm gonna continue to do the same thing and make rows of little lines to make it look like my roof is made out of straw or hay. I think I'm kind of thinking of like three little pigs, like a house made out of straw, house made out of sticks, a house made out of bricks. Obviously a house made out of straw is not the best idea, but it's gonna look cute. So I'm gonna finish up with my straw roof, then I'll show you once it's cut out how to turn it into a cone. All right, now to turn this into that magical cone shape, okay? You are going to find the middle of your circle. Wherever you think the middle of your circle is, I'm gonna put a little dot there to help me know. You are going to take a scissors and just cut one straight line that goes into the middle of your circle. And you're gonna stop right when you hit that dot in the middle. So now you have this nice little circle with one line cut in it. Okay. To make your cone, it's pretty easy. You are going to carefully take one side and cross it over. And as you cross it over, you're going to see that circle start to turn into the cone shape. So I'll do that again. Take one side, cross it over the other side. And if you keep kind of just fidgeting with the paper, it's going to turn into a cone and that looks so cool. And if you want to make it a really wide cone, just cross it over a little bit. Okay. So it's kind of flat still. If you want it to be a skinnier cone, just keep crossing it over and twisting it until it gets to be a skinnier shape. I think that'll be a pretty good size. So what I'm going to do now is you can either put a little glue and glue it down like this. I'm gonna use tape just so that it's faster and I don't have to hold it down or anything for this video. So I'm going to stick a piece of clear tape right there on the roof and now we have a straw roof. Wow, I didn't think that was gonna work as well as it did. <laughs> I like how it looks. All right, and the same way that we did it before um, when we put the tape sticking up from the house, I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I'm gonna take a piece of tape here and a piece of tape on the other side so that they are sticking up on the sides of the house. And then I'm gonna cross the tape over to make like a little tape rainbow. And then I can stick the roof that I just made that looks so super awesome and carefully press it down. Eventually it will stick. It might have, you might have to mess with it a little bit to make that tape rainbow stick to the inside of the roof a little bit. But if you press down on it, the tape will stick so that you have the roof. Oh, I have to fidget with that of your house. I cannot believe that these started out as toilet paper tubes. Guys, they turned out so cool. I hope you had a lot of fun making them with me today. Please check out the other options on that PowerPoint that I shared from the school district. There really are a ton of great ideas to keep making some art at home while we are away from each other. Thank you again for joining me. Please send me pictures of your artwork on Class Dojo or my Instagram, Schaefer's Room, and I hope to see your artwork by Friday and I hope you will tune in for next week's lesson.